This is a video on how to pressurize your reverse osmosis water tank. I have a lot of individuals asking me how to pressurize their tank, so I'm just going to show this in a video. Right now I have my water filter uh, draining with my faucet, and when I, uh, this is just a little pressure system that I use. Uh, when I measure this hole, it reads about 20 psi. You never want to stick any extra air in this until you have drained this. And this is underneath 10 psi. Right now, this is reading 0 psi. When you fill up with air, you need to have a decent air compressor. This is hooked up to a 6 gallon, 150 psi tank. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of air in here. And then I'll have an increase of water flow to drain more of the tank. I'm going to take this. I'm going to see how much PSI I have in here. And right now this is 3.9. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more air in this. I just want to make sure I do not go above a 10.0. I'm going to press fill this again. And now this is a 9.5. So I'm just going to keep waiting until my water continues to drain. Once I have uh, hardly any water coming out, then this PSI will drop again and I'll be able to stick more air into it. You know, the process will continue going back and forth, putting a little bit more air in, waiting for more water to come out, fill the pressure until this is completely down to zero and until this is completely empty. And once this is completely empty and not putting out any more water, then we want to get this up to 10 PSI with completely empty. Once that is done, then your system is now pressurized.